Hi guys, it's Natalie Zagon and I decided that I would like to read some of my books that I wrote and it's available for purchase on Amazon. I will send you the link below and I wanted to share it with you. This book is called A Place in My Heart and it's perfect for helping children create sensitivity and compassion for kids with different types of abilities. Many times children can have sibling, cousins, classmates that are different than them. And as parents as, and children, as parents of children and as teachers, we have a responsibility to create awareness and empathy for all different types of kids and to create sensitivity for it. Here we go. Whenever I go to the park or the mall and I see kids that are different than me, I let them know that I have a place in my heart for them. So we want to educate our kids about different types of looks and things that kids can have that could be different than us. When I go to the park and I see a boy who uses a wheelchair to move around, I have a place in my heart for him. I go over and say, hello, would you like to play? And then we play a game we both like. We never want to scare our kids from children who have different uh, um, abilities and different ways that they get around because it's always nice to create compassion for everyone. When I go to the mall and I see a child holding his ears, screaming loudly and rocking back and forth, I know the mall has too many noises and people and smells for him and rocking makes him feel safe. I know he isn't trying to be bad or rude. I have a place in my heart for him. These are like kids that have SPD, which is called sensory processing disorder. When I'm at a restaurant and I meet a friend who sometimes doesn't look at me and looks at his fingers instead, I know that the way he sees things is a little different than I do. Sometimes he hums or flaps his hands, but I don't mind. I have a place in my heart for him. So these are our friends that could be on autism spectrum disorder or they used to be called also Asperger. When I'm at school and my friend comes in with no hairs and no eyebrows, I know that she has to take medicine that makes her not have hair like me. She might be more tired, not be able to play all the time. She's still my friend and I have a place in my heart for her. So sometimes children who have cancer, who go through chemotherapy and also some other kind of um, medical diagnosis can make them lose their hair. So it's important for us to educate our children about that. When I'm at the zoo and I see a girl walking with a white cane, I know her eyes do not work the same way as mine do. But that's okay. The white cane lets her feel if there is anything in her way. As she walks, I say hello when she walks by. I have a place in my heart for her. Especially for our blind friend, it's important for us to have sensitivity towards them. When I'm at school and a friend yells and screams when things don't go her way, I have a place in my heart for her too. She throws herself on the floor even though she's a big girl. I know she just can't always calm herself. I know, uh, calm herself. Uh, I know she just can't calm herself and feel 